In the wake of the cash for influence scandal, Europe's lawmakers have voted to strengthen their code of conduct. The decision came after months of heated debate amid major cultural differences over what constitutes political influence. The changes were prompted after a newspaper revealed that four MEPs agreed to change draft laws in exchange for money and jobs. Now deputies must provide more information about their financial interests and details of any other jobs they hold. Bribery, blandishments um, are illegal and immoral and that's been very clearly established by this code. The new code tries to target conflicts of interest and sanctions MEPs who would table amendments to draft legislation on behalf of lobbies, industry and business. It would prevent offenders from holding senior positions like committee president or the post of rapporteur. One shortcoming is the deputies can still accept hospitality like flights and hotel rooms as gifts. MEPs do not need to fly out to a week to Canada to understand what the oil sand problematic is about and they do not need to fly to Brazil to understand what kind of uh, biofuels are good or bad. I think that is hospitalities which is then uh, coming more close to trying to influence or maybe even to corrupt uh, members of parliament. Any deputies found lobbying will also lose privileges once they leave the parliament. The new code is expected to be endorsed by the full assembly and enter force on April 1. A candidate country since 2004, Croatia has cleared almost the last hurdle to joining the EU. It'll be the 28th member state, with MEPs having checked and voted on its progress and not always positively. After approval by the Foreign Affairs Committee, it still faces a vote in plenary, which could also have implications for its biggest neighbour. Serbia is the biggest country of the region. It has many difficulties inside. It has difficulties concerning the question of Kosovo. And here Croatia can play an enormous role in uh, helping to think more European. There have been problems, including homophobic riots in Zagreb and Split, but among its four and a half million people, many are under 25, bringing the EU's average age down. The true challenge for you, bro, is not to be 28 or 29 or 30 countries, but to understand that demography is the base for democracy and for development. MEPs want the European Commission to get tougher on anti-Roma discrimination. To implement the agreed integration policy, issues like mass expulsions and segregated schooling must be tackled. Assez, il faut pas que l'Europe s'occupe de sanctions seulement économiques. Il faut aussi qu'elle s'occupe de sanctions en matière de discrimination et de droits de l'homme.